Welcome to Nova Star Course. This video will introduce you how to do the screen connection and how to use the multi-screen management in Nova LCT software. Screen connection. After we finish the receiving card configuration, each cabinet should display normally, and all the cabinets will show the same image as the picture shows. The image is the size of the receiving card area on the upper left of the video source. The purpose of the screen connection is to tell the software how the cabinets are physically wired and what is the data flow direction so that the screen can display correctly after mapping. Multi-screen management this function is designed to help clients when they have multi-screens and help to adjust the brightness of several screens at the same time or to check the monitoring information of the screens in one interface. First, let's see how to map the screen. Open Nova LCT software, click User and select the advanced login in the drop down list. The password is admin. Click the screen configuration, confirm the communication serial port is correct. Click next to enter the screen connection tab interface. In my demo, there are two screens of the same resolution. The resolution of a single cabinet is 192 by 192, two columns and three rows, and they are displaying the same content. Okay, let's see how to set it up. On this page, you can see it shows no screen. Please click button configuration. But before we click that, the quantity of screens we need to select 2. Then click Configuration. Now you will see two screen tabs on this page. They represent different screens. Let's configure the screen 1 first. As we know, the screen is 2 columns and 3 rows. The cabinet resolution is 192 by 192. So we just tap 2 and 3 in the columns and rows blank. And then click Reset All to generate the topology. Then go to the left side, select the port 1 where the screen 1 connected and input the Y92 in both width and height of the receiving card size area. Use the mouse or the keyboard arrow keys to perform the screen connection. Please note that the screen connection we talk about is the front view. And if your screen using the armor series receiving card like a 5S or a 8s. The mapping function is available. Click the Enable Mapping button to check how the cabinets are connected. For this screen, it starts from the bottom left, then goes right, and goes up, then goes left. Follow this snake direction to finish the screen connection for screen 1. Regarding the screen 2, we do the same settings again, but on a different output port, which should be port 2. When do screen mapping, you can also use the quick connection. There are 8 options in the software. Just select the corresponding direction and drag from the bottom left, then stops at the right top to finish. Now please click Send to HW. 
H W means hardware, and don't forget to save it. On this page, there are two extremely useful buttons I want to show you, which are the detect communication status and read the number of receiving cards at the bottom left area. These two buttons are mostly used for troubleshooting. When you click Detect Communication Status, it will pop up the screen list. Then you can check the Ethernet cable connection status of your screen. Green means normal, and red means fault. Easy and fast. When you click Read the number of receiving cards, then the software will pop up the receiving card quantity of all your output ports. After screen mapping is done, let's go back to the main interface. Click the brightness, then we will get into the brightness adjustment interface. And now you can see here are two tabs for screen one and screen two. If you want to adjust the brightness, you need to switch between these two tabs. And if you go to check the monitoring interface, there are also two screen tabs. That is not convenient. Now it is time to do multi-screen management. Choose multi-screen management from drop-down list when you click settings at the main interface of Nova LCT. We need to combine screen one and screen two to one screen. So the number of the combined screen should be. One. Then click Configuration. Here, you can rename your combined screen like demo, and the number of the screen should be two. Click Configuration. There will show two blue rectangles. Right-click the first rectangle, select as screen one. Then right-click the second rectangle, select as screen two, and please drag the second rectangle snap to the edge of the first rectangle. The rectangle position here will just influence the effect in monitoring interface. It is not the real video source of sight. Click OK. Now let's go back to the monitoring and brightness interface to see what happens. Both monitoring and brightness interface we got is one combined screen tab, and we can adjust the two screens' brightness at one time. Please note here, just one controller is used to load two screens. If several controllers are used, it is the same principle. Okay, that is all for the screen connection and multi-screen management. Thanks for your watching. See you next time.